In order for natural selection to take place, there must be variations present in a population. Natural selection is the idea that the best suited individuals for an environment live longer and reproduce more times. If everyone is exactly the same, then no individuals have an advantage. Survival and who gets to reproduce would just be random. In this population of beetles, each individual is different. One variation that we can see is color variation. The color of each beetle is determined by the genes that they inherited from their parents. These beetles also vary in size, speed, and on a molecular and cellular level, they have variations too. For example, some beetles may have cells that have more mitochondria. This cellular variation may give beetles an advantage. Why are all of the individuals unique? And where do variations come from? Our first source of variation is sexual reproduction. Species that reproduce sexually have populations with variations. Everyone is unique. This is because of processes during sexual reproduction that result in unique gene combinations. The two key events of sexual reproduction are meiosis and fertilization. Meiosis is cell division that creates gametes or sex cells with half of the parent's DNA. Each gamete produced gets a unique half of the parent's genetic material due to a process called genetic recombination. Every gamete that's produced is different. Because there is genetic variation in the gametes, each offspring produced will be different. The joining of sperm and egg is called fertilization. Fertilization results in a new cell called the zygote. The zygote is the first cell of the offspring. The zygote has a unique combination of its parents' genes, which will determine the offspring's traits. So sexual reproduction, which includes meiosis, genetic recombination, and fertilization, results in populations with variations. Some variations may be favorable for environmental conditions, while others may be less favorable. These variations are acted upon by natural selection. Well, now you must be wondering, if variations are necessary for natural selection to take place, then how do asexual species evolve? Source of variation number two is Mutation. Random mutations lead to changes in the genetic code. A mutation in a gene can lead to a new trait. Such new traits could result in an advantage or a disadvantage leading to natural selection. Mutation is the ultimate source of variation in all species, both sexual and asexual. While sexual reproduction shuffles existing traits and creates unique combinations, mutations can result in new traits and add new genes to the gene pool. <laughs>